I went to school just to please my dad Developed some anger as aftermath I fell off the course while you wait for a portion Coming in late off a helipad I ain't got that money, my nose always running Yo, what's going on everybody? We're gonna be covering Dirt Birds today. I don't know why it's taking me so long to get to Dirt Birds, but Derps are freaking awesome. Everybody knows that. Their community is freaking awesome. There are 10,000 birds on the Cardano blockchain, like most other projects I cover. And these have a bunch of special things that you can do with them. The first being Incubate. So you would go to their website, you would sign in with your Discord, and then you enter the incubator after you sign up and connect your wallet. So you go to your wallet, it would load it, but there is none, so you'd connect it. It's gonna do just like you do for cnft.io when you're selling. It's gonna give you an amount of ADA, you're gonna send to that address, it's gonna send the ADA back, and your wallet's gonna be connected. I don't have a derp, so there's no reason for me to do this yet, but maybe one day I will get a derp. So anyways, we go back, let's go back to the main page, and we'll enter the incubator. Let's say we want to create one of our eggs. So it's going to register a derp, but I don't have one. And it tells you right now that only 15,000 eggs can ever be created. And only 7,500 of those eggs can actually be hatched, which they've already met that. So you cannot hatch any more, but you can still make more eggs. Uh, roughly 4,000 more eggs are available. You can only incubate once every seven days if you have a common or uncommon. Anything above that can only incubate once. So if you want to buy off of the aftermarket, you need to check and see either when your common or uncommon can incubate again, or you need to check if a rarity above that has already incubated, which you can do by going to their website. So you can go over here and we can click on this. So this is scare. This is actually above uncommon. And you can see right here, it says you cannot incubate. So what about the next one? This is an uncommon and it says it's ready to incubate. So this is how you would check that. You'd have to go to cnft.io, look up one that you wanna buy, and then go to this site and cross-reference it and just make sure that it's ready to incubate. By the way, if it's hard to see this, it's dirtbirds.io slash lookup slash derp dash birds. Um, anyways, getting into it, we'll go over to get started and then you'd use your wallet, which I don't have. You would pick one of the dirt birds in your wallet and then you would incubate. This is gonna cost you 19 ADA to do, and then once you're done, you're going to receive an egg. There is a 1% chance that you receive a perfect egg, and a 99% chance that you get a regular egg. Uh, you will get a perfect egg every time, though, if you do have a, a, a perfect specimen bird. But there's only a few of those, and you'd obviously know if you had one of those. Also, if you have a Dave back accessory, which is the egg on the back right here. And you can see it back, it says, Dave, you have a 50% chance of getting two eggs when you incubate. Now how hatching worked was, hatching was free. You would send in your egg, it would be destroyed for a derpling, and the rarity would be based on the father. So if the father had a higher rarity, you would have a higher percent chance of that derpling having a higher rarity. Also, there's specific attributes and special things uh, coded with them that if you hold the father in the same wallet when you hatch the egg, you get special benefits as well. So you can still hatch the egg without the father in the same wallet, but there's going to be some consequences. There's two more things about the eggs as well. So the first being, there's a 1% chance that your egg doesn't hatch and it turns into an egg shard. If you create uh, 25 of these, or if you find 25 of these, buying them off the, uh, off the aftermarket, I'm assuming, because that's a ridiculously low chance you get them all yourself, uh, you can contact the founder and you get some sort of special reward. They haven't announced what this is, and it's going to be an uh, incredibly difficult task. And I'm assuming they're also going to have to airdrop some of these because 1% out of 7,500 of who's hatching, I don't know if they'll actually reach a full 25. Maybe they will. And even if they do, I don't know who will actually sell those and who will try to compete with holding and buying. But it's an interesting aspect for sure. So once you had your eggs, you needed to wait two weeks for them before they could hatch. So once you incubate, you wait two weeks, then you can hatch. And if you waited seven days, then you can incubate again and you kind of get yourself on a schedule like that. Uh, also, they have spoken about what if you take your birds and you never incubate? Well, they're not sure. They may do something special for those people or they may not. It's literally a maybe. 
So one of the things that I think is actually the coolest or one of the coolest parts about Dirtbirds at the moment is they're working with StockTwits. And if you don't know who StockTwits is, it's a website that uses Twitter and it pulls information to certain stocks. And when people tweet about certain stocks, it pulls it to this website. So you can see here that they're doing it with Cardano NFTs now as well. So if people, they put in this dirtbirds.nft into their tweet, then you can see right here that it, it pulls it and it pulls it all into uh, these, this like organized list. So you can just go through and look at a bunch of tweets and what people are saying about Dirt Birds and about Cardano NFTs and Fresh Mints is in there. Uh, but most people use this for stocks and for crypto, but now they're getting into NFTs as well. So this platform is huge. A lot of people use this for trading. Uh, it's not financial advice at all. You shouldn't look at these things and be like, oh, wow, you know, Papa John's tweeted about dirt birds. Like I should go buy a dirt bird. But it's cool to see what the community is saying. So the last thing I want to mention about dirt birds is they created a merch store and we'll go through that right now. It's uh, merch.dirtbirds.io and you can see some of their featured products here. They got a badge, a little sticker. You know, typical merch stuff. Uh, sticky buff heart. Sure. Um. So yeah, you can go around. You can look at stuff like this. I'm usually into the hoodies only. Those are definitely not guy hoodies. Is what it is. Maybe. No. All right. Well, there's no guy hoodies. But uh, the last thing is, they're having their announcement today for their furthering of their season one roadmap. So that's going to be pretty exciting. I was debating making this video and then releasing it after that so that I could do an update. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and release it here. Uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. I am going to be a part of uh, the, the launch for the roadmap. So I'm going to be there. I'm going to be watching. And if it's anything crazy, I may just make a two to five minute video uh, again today as an update. So just stay posted. But if you want to hear the information straight from the source, I'll link their YouTube video when it goes live. If you see it before then, the link's not going to be there. But um, yeah, appreciate you guys for watching. Get outside, see your family, see your friends. Have a good one. Peace. I get it like a G, but it never came easy. You got me coughing up a lung and wish I rap like Wheezy. I keep my pace, so I'm sorry that I'm breezy. Keep my sneaks laced, cause I can't afford Yeezys. I don't want the gold, give me BTC. Y'all be acting crazy.